my Facebook. Happy Thursday. It is 12 o'clock. We're going to get started in just a little bit. Got some Zen music playing because I don't know. Because <laughs> painting reminds me of uh, a Zen like atmosphere. How's everyone doing today? Okay, I guess we'll get started. Um, we're painting waterfalls today. It's not gonna be anything, well, it does look a little complicated. Uh, a lot of it, it's just um, how much pressure you're actually applying to the canvas. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it every step of the way and uh, we'll get started shortly. We did a kind of an easy uh, tutorial yesterday, but if you're new here, you don't know what we're doing. This is Painting for Positivity. Uh, News West 9 is just kind of doing a bunch of activities with y'all while y'all are social distancing. Um, and so this is just kind of a way for us to get our minds off of everything that's happening. So this is what we're painting today. And um, we're going to start off with a black canvas. So it is dry because we're using acrylic paint and I painted this like, uh, I would say maybe 30 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, so this one, okay, this one took about 30 minutes, um, but this is working on a smaller space. So uh, this one, who knows how long this will take, but we'll get started. So start out for the black canvas and I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit because it is dry. So I'm gonna start with a flat brush and then I'm going to paint it just kind of this part a little black because this is what's gonna help blend everything. Smother that on. Okay, so I'm starting off with a blue right here, just very lightly. It's not gonna seem like much at first, but we'll turn it into something. that light is too bright. Is it too bright for y'all? Yeah, it's looking a little bright. Let me turn it down. Okay, let's continue. Doesn't have to be perfect. I personally, I personally <laughs> like to start out on a black canvas. Not with every painting, but most paintings. black. You're not really going to use a lot of color here. It's mainly blue, black, and uh, white. Good morning, mother. <laughs> or afternoon, rather.
So in the middle, I'm just kind of putting some of the blue on here while the black paint is still wet. And then just kind of spreading it out like this. What is the painting of the day? I'll show you. We're painting this. We're painting waterfalls. And um, I'm gonna use a bunch of different brushes for this one, but uh, not a lot of colors, so that's what we're doing. So I don't want all of the bottom to be completely black, so that's why I'm kind of uh, blending all of this out. How's everyone's Thursday? We're almost through the week. Just one more day until it's the weekend. Okay, so whenever you're doing the waterfall, I'll show you how I do it. I'm gonna use a different brush. And I think for this one, I'm gonna use a curved, kind of a rounded brush like this one. And it's really, I'm, gonna, I'm saying it's one stroke, but it's really not one stroke because this is a bigger canvas. So the waterfall, I think I'm going to do three. So I'm going to do one up here and then a second one and then another one. So dipping my paint into the brush. Okay. Probably start out maybe on here. Now I'm gonna add this line right here. Just a slight white line. Kind of where you started that blue. Okay, then I'm gonna have a little one, a little waterfall. Actually, I need more white.
Not too much, just a little bit. And it's all about flick- I always say flicking your wrist, right? But that's what you're gonna do. You have to keep practicing. Once you keep practicing, it's all about getting that tech technique down. You can pull all of it, not too hard. You don't want it to be too hard all the way to the bottom. It's okay, Lindsay, you could just, um, you know what, actually when you brought up the whole step-by-step uh, -step thing, I wonder if that's a, something I can do as far as fixing up the YouTube, the News West 9 YouTube page, because we are putting these videos on there, um, just to explain that process. And then I'm just doing long strokes like that. Third waterfall. Yeah, Lindsay, I started with a black canvas. Um, when you do start with a black canvas, it is, but I did paint it. So there are black canvases out there, but uh, for me, it is better to start when it's a little wet with this painting. Okay, so you can touch it up a little bit. Okay, this part is a little... So for here, on this part, since it is a waterfall, we're just gonna add a bunch of... These are the splashes. Did you get your canvases, by the way, Lindsay? Cause I still haven't gotten mine. This is actually my last canvas, so send help. <laughs> it's okay. some strokes that kind of go up like this. Good! I'm glad you got it! I'm telling y'all, I think a lot of people are doing a lot of art because a lot of these orders from these art, these craft stores, they're like backed up. No, Sam, I didn't I barely like ordered enough either. How many did you order? Kinda go crazy here, and if you want to keep splattering like a bunch of white, you could do that too. On this part, I'm just gonna kind of imagine like, um, kind of like a triangle, but not really a triangle. You're gonna start out small here with your brush, lightly. And then you're gonna kind of pull your lines outward. I'm trying to make it as dry as possible here. I need to start painting again. Yes, you do. Yes, you should start painting again. 
especially now. Now is the perfect time. I read somewhere that um, people were saying that the arts is really what's helping a lot of us get through these tough times, and I totally agree. And if you want to miss some of the white parts, that's fine. Just kind of make your lines expand. Don't make them too precise. Add some dots if you want. dip into the blue a little bit, just a little bit. This is pressure, how much pressure you're actually putting on the canvas. Hi Debbie, how's your Thursday? dramatic is this music, by the way? <laughs> oh, thank you. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy to like paint under pressure, but you know, it's all good. Oh, and if y'all are, thank you so much, Debbie. If y'all are using oil paint, that you might have an easier <laughs> time doing this since acrylic does paint um, or does dry faster. What's up, Mr. Rodriguez? How's it going, man? And since this is water, don't worry about having like precise lines. Then Gucci, then Gucci, man. So 
So a lot of this is gonna be covered up and uh, we're gonna have trees for that part. Oh, by the way, while y'all are kind of just hanging out, um, so we're doing this thing on Sunrise where we want to give shout outs to um, people in our community. Uh, someone had told us, you know, it's you, there's other people besides healthcare workers that do deserve shout outs. So um, I think we're going to do that. So if y'all want to go ahead and like, there's like someone in the community or maybe a group of people that you want us to... Uh, announce on the morning news, we can totally do that. We just ask for a picture of them, what they do, and then we will do that on the Sunrise Show. Because there are still a lot of people, they're not working from home, a lot of people are still uh, going to work and stuff, and they do deserve some recognition. Kind of touching up on this, but I'm gonna go back with the white a little bit. Do I have my toothbrush? Yes, I have my toothbrush. I think I'm gonna add some splatters. Regular toothbrush. Wow, it is a really hard toothbrush. Ooh! Yeah, that is, that's the acrylic paint for you. Yeah, acrylic paint will really, really dry up. What's up, Adriana? Adriana in the house. I don't think she's actually like joined my Facebook Live. She's a busy woman. Okay then. Now, time for the trees. I'm gonna use this brush, a little pointy, and then I'm going to use some gray and I'm going to keep mixing it with the, uh, the black. So I think I'm going to add a tree right here. painting trees, I feel like they're super easy. Because you can make the branches go wherever they want. And like I said, pressure is everything. How much pressure you're applying to the canvas. I'm going to do another tree right here.
Okay, I feel like I'm in the soundtrack of The Lion King or something with this music playing. <laughs> What's up, baby girl Jay? Julie Gomez. Branches are fun. I love doing branches. Thanks, girl. Though, yeah, well, the music is really relaxing. Then I'm gonna do another tree right here. So dip a little bit in the gray, not too much. So you see how I kind of lift it up? Thanks, Noah. So I'm gonna make this tree trunk bigger. How did you get into painting? That's a good question. Um, so I guess I started when I was probably in college, like actual like legit painting, not like, you know, kid watercolor stuff. Uh, so my great grandmother, she didn't paint until like her later age um, when she was living by herself and she would uh, give her paintings to like family members and they didn't realize that she was such a good painter. She lived in Hawaii, so she did a lot of really pretty uh, beach paintings. And I think I got some inspiration from that and I really enjoyed doing it. And I painted in college for a little bit. Um, of course, I didn't want to major in painting. What am I gonna do with that? Um, and so I started doing it as a hobby, kind of stopped a little bit and uh, did some commission work realized I really did not like doing commission work because I was doing stuff that I did not want to paint. Um, but that's how I, that's how I kind of did it. I painted for a while just for, you know, my own leisure. And um, now I'm doing it again. And it's unfortunate that I'm painting under these circumstances, but um, I'm really glad I got to paint again. So you're gonna add a tree, tree, uh, leaves on the trees, but first I'm just gonna keep touching up on this. Add more branches, go crazy. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight, just a little bit on the trees. I think I'm gonna do that like on the top here. A little bit of white.
Thank you, Donna. It's It's been a blessing. It really has. to do the highlight you can just leave it hey Devin Okay, I think I'm okay with that. I might touch up on it a little bit later, but I think it's okay for right now. Okay, I kind of lied, so <laughs> I'm gonna touch up right here a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some of the black. Thanks, Kelly. Go back and forth, and I'm using a completely different brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do strokes like this. Actually, I hate this brush. I don't like it. Um, yeah, that's not the shape I want. Okay, here we go. This is what I want. Flat brush. Yes, I, yeah, that's right. I did paint in high school. Um, uh, Yes, long story short, there was some kind of contest or whatever, and then uh, the winners were, um, they were putting, I don't know, it was like some painting contest or whatever, and then they put mine in some, like, art museum in Tokyo. Um, by the way, I went to school on a military base, so it wasn't like a Japanese school. Okay, so with this one, I'm using the side part of it, brushing upward, and I'm going to create these grass strokes. So if you watch the Easter one, this is exactly what we did. Then I'm gonna go dip back in the black. And I kinda want them to go upward like a lot. up a little bit. 
And for those who are just joining us, this is what we're painting. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in some of the white brush off a little bit not too much because I want to have these sharp um, lines right here and if you want to just kind of go like this And if you want to make them taller, okay, now we're going to add the leaves. So you're going to use three colors. So I mix blue and green and then some black, blue and green just by itself, and then white. Okay. I'm going to use a rounded brush. Slightly, just slightly dip into the darker one first. Then I'm going to start. Let's see, make sure it's kind of dry. Okay, here we go. Just tap. And I'm just using the tip, not the entire brush, just the tip of it. And not too much, you don't want to have too much paint. And you can be super extra by dipping into a little bit of the black. Just using the tip, okay? Not the entire thing.
And make sure you get the tops of the branches. If some of your leaves are looking too black, go over with the darker one again and then do another tap. But this time you want to focus more on the, up the top parts, not like the bottom of the leaves. And this is what's going to create um, some depth. So this one right here, I see this is like a little black blob. And I'm just going to, oop, a little, that was a little too much, but that's okay. Okay, then you're gonna wipe it off so you don't have some of that dark paint. Now I'm gonna go back into the lighter one, the bluish, lighter bluish green, and you're gonna do the same thing. So you're only gonna get the tops, the tops, <laughs> the top of the uh, trees. And the ones that seem like they're a little far back, uh, get those first. This one looks like it's farther back, so I'm going to tap that. And you don't want to cover uh, the entire, all the entire leaves, just, you know, tap it a little bit. This one looks like it's right behind this one, so I'm just going to leave it black and I'm not going to add some of that bluish green on there the lighter color. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of the white, and the reason why you're doing this in so many colors is because that's what's going to give you some of that, um, the shade when you see, it, that you typically see in the trees. And I'm just using a really, really small amount of white. Okay, you're starting to see that? You get some, kind of some of that shadow right there. For When you're using the white, you want to dip just very slightly on the top.
It's Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Long time no talk, girl. Hope Dallas is treating you well. Y'all remember Roxana, Roxana Rubio? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch some of this up a little bit. And you can still use some of the green. I'm gonna use like a darker, darker shade of it, but mixing some black in there too, because I want it to be subtle. To make the blades of grass, you want to make sure you have a pretty good coat on there. Hi, Peter. Aloha. Else do I want to touch up just a little bit here add some white okay, I'm gonna go in the black a little bit Okay, y'all. <laughs> I think I'm okay with how it looks right now. Actually, not really. This here. Okay. Try it out. I know it was a little time consuming, but um, hopefully it's not too bad for y'all. Um, and if you do try it out, make sure you send it to us or text us. Number is 432-567-9991 and then we can air it. Um, if you like, you can add a varnish on here. If you want to hang it, do it. And then if you paint it, give it to someone or hang it in your living room or whatever. Um, maybe have a different type of music playing. <laughs> Not this Zen stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to do this every single day at 12 o'clock. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, y'all. Stay safe.